lovely form from the home of the spirit courts, Bukino Tuk, South Africa. Now the specimen lies flat like this. Let me first of all take you around. Lying flat. Lying flat like this. Lovely projection of the main ore. Um, the, one of the telltale signs of the spirit quartz from Bukunotu could be the central quartz crystal surrounded by the smaller ones. In this case we have a little bit of an abstract uh, because some of these central quartz crystals aren't totally surrounded by the tiny quartz crystals. In the backdrop we have a, a very hard clay. Now usually we'd put this in the likes of iron out and, and get the clay out but I actually think it lends a lot of character. This is stable so I've cleaned it with my uh, gun with high pressure water and uh, that remained. That ain't gonna come out easily. I have had an experience with these pieces that uh, with a toothbrush you'll actually spend a lifetime uh, brushing them because what comes out is this, this brown soup on an ongoing basis. Now sitting in on top of the crystals, those uh, black to brown formations would be micro girthite crystals or hematite which is oxidized, lost some of its oxidation and it's now got into girth hut. Let me just show you as well. Look at that crystal face and then on the side. But this is not full cover crystallization. There's actually exposed edges which haven't been crystallized by the micro layer of quartz. All the way from South Africa, Bukuna took and surrounds. Also what we look for, we look for color when you look into the terminations. And in this case, you're mainly seeing milky to, uh, uh, to clear.